All right, it is seven o'clock. I call to order the July 21st, 2022 Perry Township Board of Trustees special meeting. Please call the roll. Trustee Harshorn? Yes. Trustee Mears? Yes. Trustee Music? Yes. All right, at this time, in accordance with Ohio Revised Code Section 121.22, paragraph G1, I move that we adjourn into executive session to discuss the discipline of a public employee. Second. Trustee Mears? Yes. Trustee Harshorn? Yes. Trustee Music? Yes. At this time, <clears throat> the meeting will be on mute until we return. All right. At this time, I make a motion to return to regular session. Second. Trustee Mears? Yes. Trustee Harshorn? Yes. Trustee Music? Yes. Okay. The next topic is the fire levy have a resolution that has been provided with language from the Board of Elections, correct? Board of Elections and the Auditor. It's been reviewed by the trustees. Is there any conversation, any discussion topics, or anything else regarding the resolution as written? No. Okay. So at this time, I make a motion to accept resolution 2222 for the placement of a continuous 4.0 mil additional levy for the fire and EMS services for Perry Township, Montgomery County, Ohio. Second that motion. Trustee Music? Yes. Trustee Hartshorn? Yes. Trustee Mears? Yes. Okay. Electric aggregation. I will just kick off the conversation here. I personally feel that it's too close to the election to dig into this. Um, we've done a really good job of doing our due diligence with the residents, the township. And I don't think that we could get that information together to put it on the ballot in a week and a half as we have done with everything else. We did fire levy as an example. We did our due diligence, we reached out to residents, we heard what they had to say, we had people come in, we discussed it and it was decided to move forward. I have no problem at this time with the electric and gas aggregation for next year. I think this year it's just way too tight a window for us to have enough understanding of the residents' needs to put it on the ballot in a hurry. Uh, I would also commit to making it a priority next year. And I wouldn't even say that it has to wait until November. I know we would have to pay it's a higher cost for a March or May. Is it May or May? May for a May election, but I would entertain that just because we need the time. We need the time to hear what the residents' thoughts are before we make a decision to put something on. Because the other part of this is, is that this failed once. It's not a bad concept. Like I said, I'm not against it, but if we rush it to the ballot, and it fails again, it's dead. People aren't gonna vote for it or entertain it a third time. So my belief is, is that we put it off till next year and we give it the, the time and the due diligence required to make sure that it's definitely something that we need to do for Perry Township. And my belief on it is I don't agree with you because if we don't put it on and everybody now has already received their electric bill, so if we do not put this on, which we, we have plenty of time, in my belief, we have plenty of time because they, they will be the ones who send out postcards, meet with you, all that stuff. So they will organize all that. But if we don't, these people in our township are going to have people knocking at their doors or calling them and saying, hey, sign up for this. And then we're going to be in trouble and nobody's going to have it. And I don't want to pay... As a township right now, we're hurting for money as it is to pay for a special election. So my belief is we put it on, they handle it, or and we can talk about it. But when uh, we had a resident speak and said, is there anything you guys are thinking of? I think people are really starting to think about this. That's, my, that's the way I feel. So I, I could go either way on this because if there is a... You know, I mean, if, if there is a, a group out there who is adamantly opposed to an aggregation yeah. and 
does a way better job at getting that no vote out there. And they do a better job than the folks who are for the fire levy. That no is going to be two. But this, this, doesn't, this doesn't cost you a penny. This could cost us no votes. This could, if somebody is, is adamantly against an aggregation, and that's going to bring them to the polls, they're already there to vote no. No is in their head. Yeah. And when they see a four mil levy, nope, I'm not voting for that either. What do you think? Or, on the flip side, I think aggregation it has had enough time. Uh, there's been enough talk about it over the last few years. Um, people are starting to understand it more. Right. Um, this company is going to do their due diligence because obviously they want to provide this service to us. And is an extra tool that can save, potentially save, residents money on their on their electric bills. Right. So I, I, I'm, a, I'm 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 torn because I care more about passing the fire levy. Well, yeah, me too. Than I do the aggregation. And the aggregation by us not putting this on, it doesn't stop any resident from going out and shopping their own. No. Now, now, it, now what it does is, is it, you know, they may make a bad decision. Um, and I, I think we believe that Trebell is a good company that who's going to take care of our residents or we wouldn't talk to. And they also have like Clay Township. They just got yeah. Miami Township. So they're not, you know, they're a reputable company. The, the other thing, too, is that right now the market's high. Mm -hmm. And working through a PUCO in the short term actually gives residents more flexibility albeit as an individual entity and not a pool, but they can shop a rate that fits for them for a term that fits for them. Right now, electricity is high per kilowatt hour. Let's say it comes down in four months, back down to around 10 cents a kilowatt hour or lower. Um, they can adjust themselves there, but as a township, it, it, I have concerns both from the fire levy, you know, putting two issues on there that may draw out uh, more naysayers, but I, I am not one who likes to rush into things. And if this would have came up a few months ago, I would feel a lot better about it. But it feels like we're rushing just to get it on the ballot. And like I said, I'm not opposed to it. Yeah. I'm just opposed to it with this very short window that we have to decide to put it on the ballot. Now, the heavy lifting is definitely on Traybell. Yes. But they also said that they need, that they required all the trustees to vote in the affirmative. They would like for all this. Right. But I, I don't think that we're there. And so I, I'm trying to figure out if we, if we put this on the ballot and it gets voted down, it probably won't see the light of day for quite some time. That'll be two votes against it in less than four years. No. Okay. So there was a lot of talk about aggregation, what, two years ago, with a lot of different municipalities. Um, there was a lot of misinformation put out there, and, and, and more than likely, probably put out there by the folks who tend to lose a little bit of money from this. Well, and in Clay, I know Clay Township, they had it a number of times on their ballot, and it didn't pass. I think the third time it finally did pass. But, you know, as we go to OTA conferences and whatnot, Trey Bell's a big sponsor. They have a huge presence. They sit there and they talk with people. They have representatives who are trustees or other elected officials that speak on their behalf, come to meetings. It's not that they're... I don't question what they do and how they do it. I'm just saying to put something on the ballot that quickly... Excuse me. I'm sorry. I... I, I I have, I don't feel right about it. It feels rushed. Okay. And if things weren't rushed, I would, I would be all on board with it. It just, it, it seems like we're rushing to get it on the ballot because the cutoff is the first week of, eight, of August, right? <clears throat> so that's my concern. Mm -hmm. 
I, I don't want to rush something to the ballot just to rush it to the ballot. We do want to definitely see the fire levy pass. And I, I don't want to draw out the questions of, well, they put that on the ballot awfully fast. But, yeah, I, but it's not, in my opinion, it's not because it's not the first time we've seen it. And, and it's, it's, it's just the first time we've seen it recently. Um, and so, yes, the timing is different. It is close to the election or the deadline. But this is, is it not the same proposal from two years ago? So we know, we know the issue. The difference between now and then was we had trustees who I don't think understood it enough to do it. <clears throat> um, I mean, the guy stood right here and told us that the agreement that we will sign gives them the option to continuously shop. Yeah. So if the rate does go down, our residents are going to benefit from that. He also sat here and said right now he can't give us a break. That what he's right, yeah. the, the rate that they have right now would not save if you're at uh, the, the 10 cents or 11 cents a kilowatt hour. So I think giving the, the residents the option they can, they, can, they can step out anytime they want. We're not locking them into anything. We're, we're, we're being used, you know, we're locking the township um, that we can't use any other companies. That's not true. Uh, we have a three-year contract with them. But you can you can opt out anytime you want and Dale and I can call somebody else. Well, residents can. Residents can. Residents can, yes. The township as a whole cannot. Yes. yes. So that's kind of, that was my oh, Okay, gotcha. Um, and so I, so I think the risk here to residents is very low. Yeah. That they can opt out and opt in at will. Yeah. I mean, he stood right here and said it in the meeting. So this isn't going to cost us any money. They're going to do their part to make sure that the residents are informed. It's, it's not a new concept. It's been going on for two years. I think we have a better understanding two years later than we did then. But it's just... I guess I never really looked at it the way Jason does because I would like to see it go through because I think a lot of people were shocked last month with their bills. But if it means taking this away and the fire levy passes, what do you, what do you, what's your thing? I mean, I, I'm on both sides of it too. I mean, I understand it. I've done it. I've done the electrical aggregation with my own stuff. So, you know, I understand the importance of it. But I also, as he stated when he was here, I also understand right now the market's up. So whatever we get into, you know, it's going to be a higher rate. You know, it's probably still going to be closer to what we're paying now through AES. And, but it's my, I agree with uh, Trustee Music and Trustee Harshorn, though, is those that are going to be opposed to it, if they go to the ballot, just to vote no on that we are at an increased risk that they're going to vote no for both. They're probably the same ones that are going to vote no on fire levy yeah. anyway. But And to be clear, residents can go to the state PUCO site. They can. And they can find a provider at the rate and the terms that fits their needs. I don't want people to think that we're holding all the keys oh, here, saying know. that this is the only way to, to, uh, to go out and get a different provider. Aggregation is a method. Mm -hmm. It's not the sole method. And that's why I, I am a bit more comfortable in my stance is because <laughs> the residents still have options. The township still has options. If we want to look at a different provider through PUCO, we can do that. Um, so, and I think there's resources out there too that will help people, you know, those that aren't computer savvy and stuff like right. that will actually sit down and help them yeah. through the process. And I know that the, I know that there's uh, the state has a number of videos out there about going through the process, what it means, what you're looking for. And we can make all that available. Yeah. Just like we did with the fire levy page, we can make a page that, that aggregates information for people. And plus, an informed resident will be 10 times more likely to vote in the affirmative when it comes up next year. So they have options. We're not going to rush to an option, is my stance. We don't rush an option. Residents still have options. They can seek out what best fits their needs. And, you know, this is something that I would like to have a continual 
information sharing with the residents over a, a period of time so that, you know, their questions are answered. I, most, most people that have looked at aggregation have no idea what the ORC is that covers it and that there's actually law around what they can do, what they can't do, you know? And I think we've proven up to this point that the more informed the residents are, the more open they are to make a decision, whether it's about a levy, aggregation, or anything else. And so I, I, I just think at this time, it, it's, it's a little too much too fast, and we're best served to uh, just push this out until next year, and that way we can uh, collect the information, make sure residents understand, and then we can make a decision on the township. In the meantime, they can go through the other state, the state's other options for electric providers. So we do not need a, any 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 more work on that. Well, I mean, if, if if any of the trustees would like to make a motion, they are free to make a motion. I I, I will be not making motion at this time, but I would like to open the floor for a motion if the trustees would like to make one. Okay. Well, uh, I, we have visitors on here. Do you have anything, Mr. Mears? Okay. At this time, I make a motion to adjourn. Second. Trustee Mears? Yes. Trustee Hartford? Yes. Trustee Music? Yes. 